Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Maddie, and in this video, I'm going to cover the Concept Descriptor Framework. The Concept Descriptor Framework is a method of breaking down ideas while we take notes to their most basic elements. To explain the idea better, let's do a thought experiment. Imagine that you're a chef, and you're speaking to an alien, Meepo, and you want to explain how to make a hamburger. Well, you'd probably start off by listing the main ingredients of a hamburger like the buns, patty, lettuce, and tomato. Then you might walk through the steps of grilling the patty, cutting the tomato and lettuce before assembling your meal. But Meepo is very foreign and has never heard of any of these ingredients and asks questions like, what's the color of a tomato? What do you use to cut lettuce? And hundreds of other similar questions. You'll of course be able to answer these very quickly, almost instinctively, because you understand this process extremely well. So let's see how we can use the concept descriptor framework to make flashcards. To make concept flashcards, we use colon and the angle brackets. And to make descriptor flashcards, we use semicolons and angle brackets. And I'm just gonna continue off using the example from the thought experiment. So hamburger is our concept. To make hamburger a concept flashcard, let's use a colon followed by a greater than angle bracket. You'll see that when you make a concept flashcard, it automatically becomes bolded. And I can break hamburger down into more concepts, like the ingredients that are inside of it. So we have tomato, cheese, lettuce. And since tomato is also a concept, I can turn it into a concept flashcard as well. I'm going to turn tomato into a double-sided concept card by just using two colons. Just like basic flashcards, the arrow between the flashcard shows which direction of practice it's going in. Now let's move on to the descriptor flashcards, which describe concepts. Descriptor cards should only be made as children of concepts. So for example, a descriptor of lettuce would be taste, we would have color, we would have texture. To make descriptor flashcards, just use two semicolons. Notice that when you make descriptor flashcards, they automatically become italicized. These bold and italicized conventions just differentiate descriptor and concept flashcards. And just like for basic flashcards, remember that you can make flashcards that go forwards, backwards, or both. So for example, let's make a backwards only descriptor flashcard. I will use a semicolon followed by a less than angle bracket. Now I'm going to talk about some of the benefits of using the concept descriptor framework in Remnote. First is that concepts are prioritized in the RemNote search. Whenever you search through your database using Control plus P to open a document or Control plus S to open a portal, anything you type in, concepts will be prioritized and shown at the top. Next is that when you make descriptor flashcards, they'll also prompt you to recall the concept. As a reminder, you can always click on the arrow between your flashcards to pull up a preview. So let's just pull up a preview of the taste flashcard here. I'm gonna make this a double-sided flashcard. And you can see that the descriptor flashcard, taste, is also asking me to recall the concept, which is lettuce, not just the flashcard front and back itself. Concept descriptor flashcards are also differentiated by this bold and italicized editor. And of course, the most helpful idea from the concept descriptor framework is that it breaks down your ideas to their most basic parts. All right, everyone, that's everything about the concept descriptor framework. Remember that this is just a framework and it's not necessary to use in RemNote. It's just an idea that allows you to break things down to their most basic parts and a good way to organize your notes for long-term learning. But definitely not a requirement to use in RemNote. Feel free to use the basic flashcards. They're much more intuitive. But if you want to organize your notes in a more methodical way, this is a great approach. I'll see you guys in the next video.